All right, so today I am going to be making a blue swimmer, cream, uh, blue swimmer crab curry using the duck's curry paste. You can buy this online, you can come and see us at the shop. Um, you can't make it yourself because it's made from the ingredients off the farm and the boys up here, so do yourself a favor. Um, I'm gonna use this as my base sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit more punch to it. I've got some garlic that we've collected off the farm. I've got some curry leaves that we've collected from next to our office. Um, I've got some spring onions, a little bit of bok choy and some lime. So I'm gonna do like a coconut based sauce. I'm just all I'm gonna do with my blue swimmer crabs is I'm just gonna break them up like so. And then over here on the fire, I've got my pan. And it's a bit rainy today, but that's all right. And I've just got a big knob of coconut oil, coconut fat. So I'm just going to fry up my, my curry leaves in there first. And then while that's happening, I'm just going to chop up my garlic. And I'm happy for this to be in pretty big bunches. Pretty rough and ready to be honest. So we're just going to give a good amount of my curry paste. Right, if you could smell this, this is shocking. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of my coconut milk. So I'm essentially making all of my sauce first. now spinach has been growing off the farm so I'm just gonna pick that that looks like it's gonna fry quite well I've actually never worked with this before how do you say that? Okinawa. 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 Mm. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna like knock those back like knock the temperature out of them so they'll start to go a little bit soft my sauce is coming along I've got my shallots in there I've got my coriander root in there my garlic my chili, I'm gonna put the bok choy in right at the last minute, and I'm gonna do my crab right at the last minute as well. So, that's our curry, it's pretty no fuss. All we need to do now is just finish it off, and that is going to be with a little bit of fish sauce. That seems like a lot, but don't be shy. And then all I'm gonna do here just load them up into our bowls. I'm just wiping down my bowls because I've bloody made a hell of a mess. I'm just going to garnish that with a little bit of that coriander. And then we'll finish that off with a good squeeze of lime. And that's us. A sunny Byron coconut chili crab. 